welcome to my final video of the year hopefully um happy new year if you are if i did not manage to get it up on the 31st which i'm i'm hoping i will this is my uh, hobonichi weekly mega setup or rather i'll show you how i set it up because i have been using it i i would like to say some things uh, beforehand if you want to see this setup only please skip to this timestamp um, otherwise um, thank you for staying well I when I when I've decided to use this I haven't actually done any paper tests with this particular paper I did have a uh, Tomoe River paper, but it was slightly thicker and I had a different Hobonichi, the J3, which also was for some reason different Tomoe River paper. Um, so when I went to set this up at the end of November, or or rather the start of December for January, because I wanted to start the planner in the new year. I, I had all planned out how I want my layouts to be and stuff. And um, I started and it was a disaster because my pens or the pens that I wanted to use were just smearing all over the place. It was, it was, not a pretty sight like I I wanted to throw the thing out and just buy a naughty um, and then I went on YouTube and um, just searched for a video of a pen test with the uh, Hobonichi Weeks paper and I found one I, I don't remember the name of the lady who did the pen test i i will um edit it in and she did a nice pen test with this paper and she came to the conclusion that um the best pens that uh smear the least is the hobonichi pen uh which is a uniball jazz stream the the one that comes with the planners if you buy from the site and also uniball signals and um, the the pigma microns like fine liners they they wouldn't smear so I get me I got myself uh, some of those because I didn't I really didn't want to waste the planet just because I didn't have a pen that wouldn't smear and I I, I didn't want to use fountain pens um, which also dry very very slowly on this paper just just an aside um so yes i got the pens and i started um setting it up further and it was awesome i really loved it um so i uh, actually started using it in uh, the second i think the second week of december because the pens were working, the layout was working for me, it was all great. And then I spilled tea all over it. I, <laughs> I, I was, I was so devastated. Like I will edit in a picture of my Instagram where I have, um, like a picture of how it looked <laughs> after I spilled the tea. It was, <laughs> it was very, very unfortunate. I just I just fell in love with it. I got the perfect pants and then it I ruined it. Well, at least I thought so. Um very very immediately I mopped up the water and uh, the tea and um uh put it under a stack of very very heavy books so it wouldn't like get those weird water uh waves or something. And um I wanted it to dry flat so that I could minimize the damage and it worked. I still had some like uh, stains and I just took a marker and um, 
just paint it over the sides with the marker so that the stains would not be noticeable and also I added another paper in my cover so that you can't see the stain that's here um, yeah um, so this is what what ha what happens before I basically or rather right when I started using it so now we can get into the setup um, I have a simple uh, PVC cover on it like a um, clear cover and I've just added uh, some uh, fancy papers ahead I don't have one that would cover all of it so I uh, used two of them I also have some stickers the stickers are actually there to the when I put on this belt seal this Midori belt seal, seal to hold my pen and hold it closed there was like a like a um, what's the English word um, like a air pocket on the um, adhesive and I didn't like that and so I put on stickers and a sloth sticker so that it looks like that's a branch and he hangs over it anyway so yeah that's that's my outside I'm using currently I'm using just a simple um, Pigma Micron in the 04 I don't have any clue what what size it is I know that I have Sigma Uniboss that also work well but those are I think 0.38 in uh, like width and that's a tiny bit too small for me maybe I'll use them at some point I don't know so this is the first page I have some um, what do you call this like the, the things you put on the letter <laughs> where you can oh my god stamps oh my god yes yeah, stamps sorry um and uh, I have just a sticky note for like if ever I need to write down anything quickly and don't want to look inside where I want to put it I can just put it there I also have the mm, the pocket the Hubunichi pocket which um, well when I uh, adhered it I was a bit crooked and I had to cut off some pieces and it looks horrible so that's why there's a strip of washi it's fine I, I can live with that and then you have this year uh, year overview whatever uh, which I don't use so I have it clipped back and the first page that I will be using I haven't yet because it's not not yet January tomorrow is January um, I will be using this as a monthly cycle log just with like symbols that I know what they mean because uh, I realized after my last planner that the my cycle is the only tracker that I need a monthly view of uh, because I would like to know uh, things about my cycle obviously and the other trackers I had uh, like health and exercise and what have you I uh, don't actually need a uh, monthly view it's fine if I just have them weekly so this is one thing I changed from last year's setup and then we come to the first month which is December and I used to have a tracker uh, here in my Nolte the monthly tracker I removed that and instead I am using this space for online orders uh, so I don't have to write them at the back I'm just uh, writing them down on a monthly basis and I have some usually some space for stickers or decoration and usually I have at least two boxes here where I can just write stuff that is important this month if I like if I don't don't have a specific date for it or something um, in the boxes I just um, mark down 
birthdays, important birthdays, like holidays, uh, with, with, with color, with a color coding system. And also, if I have an appointment, I will just write down the time. And the further details are either in my weeklies or in my Google Calendar, because I still use that. And uh, I am writing down my expenses that are not like household, groceries, uh, gas and bills and stuff. Um, I write them down here. So I have an overview when I did a no spend day, which was not, not a lot this month. Because, it, well, it's December. You, you buy a lot of <clears throat> stuff in December. So this would be January. This is actually the first one that I set up. And uh, I used Washi for days where my uh, husband will be traveling to the US. Otherwise, I just have the name of the month and uh, here will be my orders and this month's stuff and I have some decor. I also set up February and March and that's it. I, I haven't uh, set up the others yet. Um, this one is a uh, blotting paper, which I, I don't actually need anymore since I, don't, I have pens that don't smear, but I still have it and it's fine. I, I have uh, one of the uh, markers in the month. And the other blotting paper I have in the weeks. Let me just find the start. This one I haven't used yet. The first uh, week of the December. And this is where I started using it. I did not do any lines, anything. I'll, I'll come to that later. I, I still use uh, sometimes a blotting paper just to mark the page. And um, I have the days set up. I just, if I have appointments, I will write them down. Otherwise, I have some things that happened or like, uh, like I have here, like stuff uh, that I have to do on this day. Otherwise, I'm writing my to-do stuff on the side here, uh, which is not day specific. It's just for weekly specific. And I have my tracker up here for the stuff that I don't need monthly, so I don't have it in my cycle log. Then I also have some notes and my tarot spreads. And this column I use for just general info about when I got up, uh, stuff I ate, uh, if I did um, exercise or how long or how much, just just general information that I would like to track on a daily basis. So those uh, were the, um, the weeks of December. That was last week and now it's uh, this week. Um, as you can see, when I, <laughs> when I set up January and it was smearing all over, I, there's a lot of like, um, there's a lot of like correction tape all over because like I said, it was smearing. And also I used to make a line here and one line here. And then I realized when I started to use the December layout or uh, when I started to use this in December, I realized that this line was completely useless to me. I, uh, my, my appointments would be way bigger than this. So I just, covered it up with uh, correction tape and I'm just going to use this like I used it in December without the markers, without lines, without any, I don't have to set up anything because those lines and those markers, like the, the, the counting and, and the, the line drawing, I, it was just so annoying. I'm sorry. I, I just, I remembered why, why I stopped using a bullet journal. This is not, this is not for me. That's so annoying. So I, um, I have already set up January, but in February and uh, going further, I will just use my December layout without the lines, without the markers, very simple. I still can, 
like I still see what is what. I don't need lines uh, to, to show me. So yeah, this is uh, what I will be using it as like, I mean, without the stuff, the extra stuff. <laughs> Um, so those are the uh, wigs, which go all through. Let me just uh, all through December, and I have a uh, like a pen board here, which I use usually on the week, on the next week, and the blotting paper on the current week, so I can just easily flip to the page I need. Now. After the weeks, uh, we have the notes, and um, as you can see, the notes, uh, like uh, the the notes pages, are there's quite a few in the mega. The normal Hobonichi weeks, it has a lot less note pages, and I don't, I don't, I'm not sure if that would have sufficed, but I just went the safe route and use the mega because um, I want to use those pages, most of those pages as a daily journal. Uh, in addition to my five year journal, which just has a few lines, I'm going to use this as a, a slightly longer journal, but not daily. I know that I am not a daily journaler. Um, sometimes I just need a few uh, lines. Sometimes I need a whole page. Um, I might skip a week or a few days, so this should be enough. And um, in the back, I just have like a ruler and a little booklet from uh, another planner where I have like health info for me and pets and husband. So you can see this is where I spelled. <laughs> the tea. Anyway, I have some uh, sticky notes uh, if I need them. And I have clipped back all the pages that are like info pages that I don't use because I can't speak Japanese. Um, so the first useful page I started from the back so that I would have enough notes pages for my journal is uh, a uh, subscriptions and bills tracker where I just write down what it is and every month I will um, put a point where when I've paid it or if I don't have to pay it this month and stuff like that because I find this very um, useful if I don't remember if I have like uh, paid a certain bill yet or when, when it's due, stuff like that. And here I have some uh, extra work stuff and commissions and my exercise log which I already started in uh, December though as you can see I've been slacking for two days anyway so yeah um, I have a writing log for my blog when I write if if ever again I write a story I will <laughs> write this down and a reading log I haven't obviously it's not the new year yet I haven't read yet I did watch some stuff during the holidays and um, this is my watching log and I actually have four pages for this because I am uh, certain I will need those. I, I did need those for uh, last year and uh, I will certainly need those this year because we watch a lot of stuff. So that's my watching log and I have uh, dates or date ideas for me and my husband then gift ideas which I haven't started yet it will just I uh, have a um, the first letter of the name for the person that the idea is for and then the idea is just just for me like it's not uh, yeah I mean I could do this digit I hate this word um, <clears throat> di digital um <laughs> uh, online so yeah and this is my last uh, page of the collections it's just a brain dump with stickies because i will write down a lot of things and i can just extract, 
change the sticky notes and don't have to uh, waste a page. So I have 200 pages uh, for my journaling and that should be enough I guess if I if I look at my old journal it, it certainly will be enough so yeah this is how I am using my Hobonichi I hope you found some inspiration <laughs> and I, I hope I can get this out on the 31st and in 2021 like, like I promised and um, so going forward I I don't know if all of my videos that I will be making on my channel will be about planners and stationery I do have planned to maybe maybe do some vlogging or DIY house projects because as you can see those guys are still here and I'm still not moved because our realtor is I I don't want to insult the man um, he, he, he's a piece of work okay so yeah uh, we are still in our temporary apartment and um, when we move I might do some videos about renovating the house or DIY projects and that's why I have um, now put uh, little banners on my uh, videos on my content with uh, like um, category names and um, for like stationery and planners and I will have some categories for vlogs and DIYs and home and maybe food I don't know I, d I don't want to um, put myself in a box where I just can talk about planners and stationery because I, that's not all of my um, interests so yeah anyway I I wish you a great new year um, I, 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 I doubt it will be better than 2021 honestly with uh, what is happening uh, but I I hope you can just continue on and be happy and um, yeah just have a nice 2022